Hi, to Sky Living LA Girl DM, and from the royal weddings to summer weddings, it is wedding season. I'm here with Dr. Rue, author of Feed Your Face, who's going to give us a great guide to what to do before your wedding. Even if you have just a limited time to get ready for your wedding, at least get started two months before. What I tell my celebrity patients when they're getting ready for their big Hollywood wedding is come in for your Botox about two months before. That way we can make sure your eyes aren't going to be squinty in the pictures, you won't be squinting in the sun. And here's a big Hollywood secret. They get it in their underarms for perspiration. And that's because you might be wearing a beautiful gown that costs thousands of dollars. You, you don't want to be throwing your bouquet up in the air, lifting your arm, and having an ugly sweat stain. So think about getting Botox for perspiration. So is there anything else for two months that are not injectables that you can, people can do before their wedding? The other thing I tell my celebrity patients to do is two months before the wedding, avoid the white devils. What I mean by that is avoid eating the bad stuff the white sugar, the white flour, the dairy, and the salt. And that's because white sugar, especially table sugar, can attack the collagen in your skin, making your skin look crepey and wrinkly, not pretty for pictures. So instead, have natural sugar. Have honey in your tea instead of table sugar. Likewise, skip the dairy. Dairy can make you break out. Now, pre-wedding planning time is, is a real high-stress time. You're nervous, you're stressed, and that can lead to breakouts. You don't want to be broken out on your big day. So avoid the dairy instead have almond milk or soy milk for your coffee. Now likewise, skip the wheat and the salt because both of those can make you bloat. That means your face can look puffy, your eye bags can look bigger, and you might not be able to fit into that tight gown. You want to be lean and trim, so instead of white bread, white rice, stick to whole grains and brown rice, and just try to avoid the table salt completely. Those are amazing tips. I didn't even think of half of those things. I love the fact that there's something else you can do. Instead of sugar, there is honey. Like, that's a great, great tip. What are some other things, like what should we look for, say a month before, that people can do getting ready for their wedding? A month before the wedding, I tell my patients to start thinking about getting a photofacial. A photofacial is a type of a non-invasive laser treatment that helps to tighten the pores, helps to make your skin texture look finer and smoother so your makeup goes on better. It also helps to get rid of discoloration and freckles. All right, so your week before a wedding, what can brides do the week before to look their best on their favorite day? The week before your wedding is all about you. You've got to pamper yourself because you're going to be the center of attention. So make sure you get your beauty sleep. Got to get at least seven hours of sleep because studies have shown that people who sleep less than seven hours look more tired and less attractive. And you want to look rested and beautiful and cute in your pictures. So make sure you get your beauty sleep. This is a great time to schedule a massage, a great time to schedule a facial. Not a crazy facial. You don't want to do anything new, but just a very relaxing facial to help calm your skin and make it look hydrated so you look glowing in the pictures. Last thing is, the week before the wedding, if you're using any acne medication like benzoyl peroxide or retinanin, anything that makes you flaky, stop using that so your makeup looks smooth the day of. Thank you so very much. This is an amazing wedding guide for great wedding skin. If you want more information, go to her Twitter page or buy her book. I'm telling you, you will love all the information that has in it. For Sky Living in Hollywood, I'm Deanne Brown.